Welcome back to Iowa Basketball Replay with Coach Tom Davis. Uh, we got a little feature here on Father Bob, who's been the longtime uh, public address announcer of the Iowa Hawkeye football and basketball games. And uh, there's uh, going to be something new in the air next year when we try to get used to a new voice. But yeah. Father Bob Holzhammer has been around a long time. A wonderful person he in really addition is. to doing a fine job. Let's take a look at this feature. Here come the Hawkeyes! I've been a Hawk fan since, uh, since 1936. I saw all of the home games of the old Ironmen. And of course, I'm a graduate of the university. I was here from 1946 to 1949. And then uh, we came back to Iowa City in 1962, and we've been here ever since. Hello, everyone. Welcome to Carver Hawkeye Arena and Big Ten basketball between the Boilermakers from Purdue University and our own University of Iowa Hawkeyes. It was uh, in the spring of 1974, late spring, when my predecessor, Bud Suter, had, uh, had passed away, and uh, the athletic administrators, Bump Elliott, at that time, was looking for someone to do the PA. And, and how he ever heard about me, I had done some games uh, when I was uh, my first pastorate in Iowa Falls, but. Uh, Bump asked me if I would do the spring game. Bobby Cummings had just come as our new ba football coach. And so, um, unbeknown to me, I guess, it was kind of uh, an audition because after the game was over, uh, Bump asked me if I would be free to do the games in the fall. And that was when I assured him that no one in our congregation ever got married or died when the Hawkeyes were playing, so I would be available to, uh, to do the games. So let's meet the starting lineups for tonight's contest. At one guard for Iowa, a 5'11 freshman from Mason City, number 20, Dean Oliver. Well, I have a lot of uh, fond memories. Um, probably uh, one that kind of sticks in my mind and one that's uh, kind of on the minds of a lot of people right now is uh, back in uh, 1980 when the Hawks uh, won, beat Georgetown uh, and uh, were coming home for the getting ready to go to the Final Four, and we had that big deal over in the field house with, what, 15,000 people, and I'd miss the relationships that we've had with the coaches and with the players. Um, because of my professional background, I kind of, on occasions, have been unofficial chaplain to some of the students, uh, some of the athletes. Um, I've uh, officiated at marriages of some of them. Uh, and now I'm even baptizing their children, so that uh, tells you kind of how long we've been, been around. <laughs> 